Welcome back, everybody. I hate to date myself, although I think I did in that last segment, but I've been around here for many, many, many years, and I've done a lot of stories about a lot of different sports around Austin, Texas. I can't remember, maybe it's because I'm getting old, I can't remember, though, ever doing a story about barrel racing. It's a great sport, not easy to do, because it's a partnership between a person and an animal. We found a pretty good tandem. KV's Matt Mitchell has the story. Georgetown senior Ava Antolik excels in a glamour event in rodeo, barrel racing. With this run last weekend, she claimed the state title. I don't even think I've comprehended it yet. It's just, I just feel like I'm a part of history when in state because all the greats, it's what all the greats have done, you know? Like, I always knew he could do it. I know he can do it. It's just sometimes I believe in him more than I believe in myself. But despite her success, Ava avoids the spotlight. Her horse, Gunner, however, does not. I mean, he has a really big ego. He knows <laughs> He knows he's hot stuff. He should work in TV. Yeah, he should. He should. He's a big ham and everything. You ready for your close-up, Gunner? He has a <laughs> reputation of untying himself a lot. Like, we go to some places. It's happened, like, three or four times where he unties himself and just goes, like, running down the road. But he just kind of does whatever he wants. He really kind of runs the show. Um, I mean, he acts up a lot, but we can't really do anything because we don't want to punish a great horse. So we, you have to indulge him sometimes. Yeah, we just we spoil him. It's bad. Do you spend more time with Gunner than you do most any of your other friends? Yeah, um, yeah, he's my best friend and my teammate and everything else. I don't go out a lot. I just ride my horses. <laughs> does he know what he's doing? I mean, does he know what the objective is? And are you just kind of hanging on? or? Oh, yeah, my whole goal when I'm running is to just stay out of his way. <laughs> he knows what he's doing, and <laughs> I just try not to screw anything up. Ava and Gunner have been a team for three years, and after conquering Texas, the duo heads to Nationals in Wyoming later this summer and Gunner should thrive on the sport's biggest stage. The horse, of course, is really important. Um, they have to be fast and they have to know how to handle themselves with all the people and everything, but the mental game is also really important. Like, if you can't focus and bear down under the pressure, then you're not gonna be 16, very good. I feel like if you can make it in Texas, you can make it anywhere. Um, I mean, all the pros come down here if they're not from here to rodeo and everything. It's a lot more pressure on the people from Texas because we're always expected to do the best and be the best. And Texas has such a rich rodeo history with everybody from going to the NFRs from Texas. And if you're not from Texas, then you go to Texas because that's where all the big rodeos and everything is. It's just if you can make it in Texas, then I believe you can make it anywhere. There's a lot of pressure. I just, I don't know. I try to tune it out. On the flip side, Gunner, the horse who never met a camera he didn't like, <laughs> may actually tune in the pressure. He loves the crowd cheering for him and always, he always runs faster at rodeos. We have kind of an agreement, I guess. He runs fast and I feed him. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't think my life would been the same if we hadn't found Gunner. <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, I'm not even from a rodeo family. We live in the suburbs pretty much, and I don't know. I just like riding my horse, and <laughs> it works out sometimes. So how did Ava become a champion barrel racer? It began when she was <laughs> barely old enough to put on her boots. When I was like five years old, my mom would lead me around on my little polka dotted pony and we'd go to play days and she'd lead me around the barrels and everything. What was it about barrel racing that was so exciting to you that you decided that's what I'm going to focus on? Well, I mean, you go to rodeos and like you've got the whole crowd cheering for you and it's just such a rush and it's so exciting. There's just, you don't really get that with any other sports. <laughs> What's it like when you're in the saddle, you're on gunner, you're getting ready to go, you're waiting for that that go. Are you nervous? Are you excited? I mean, just on a scale of 1 to 10, what's the adrenaline, the adrenaline like at that moment? Oh yeah, it's a 10. I mean, I'm super pumped and excited, but like just when we're waiting 
and the next person before us has gone, then we get just this feeling of calm and just focus, so. Yeah, there's just no other um, equine sport that gives you such a rush that you're just going 9-0 with the crowd behind your back. It's just, it's a rush. And for Ava and Gunner, the ultimate rush could be winning it all in Wyoming. Matt Mitchell, KU Sports. Cool. How about Ava and Gunner? What a team they are. Good luck in Wyoming and good luck in the future. Expecting lots and lots of championships from those two. Expecting some fun with the game of List Me when we come back.